to produce mass production. The way we do in the factory now is very easy. You buy yourself a mixture of materials. Try preferably not to use aluminium. Aluminium creates a paste due its construction when it's gas. Copper, preferably brass, because if you buy brass, you have a mixture of all the materials with you. You have a zinc, you have copper, you have nickel, everything else with it. If you can buy zinc, what do you call it? Brass is better. Nickel, titanium, whatever you can get your hands on. You, the way we do it, we not of course one plate, we put another plate, put a negative on the copper where we want to go and usually apply anything around about two volt, one amp. And you put in a good, what is done in a factory, 15% salinity is good. And then you just leave it. One of the things you got to do is please, as I explained to you before, get yourself a five year old little uh, fish tank pump, air pump and continuously blow from underneath air into the system because then you increase the possibility of oxidization it's much better try to do your connection as we done or nearest the plate which is producing you'll find out your plate like this what we see literally you have it this much in the water and Within a day or so, it totally disappears. You put the next plate in. Because all the atomic structure changes to GANs. As I said, we bought a ton of this for this purpose because we see the production. We need about a ton of copper per month just to convert into GAN system. Because you produce all your uh, nano coating and the GANs coating for the what they call it for your capacitors for the center ball in the center you need guns for a huge amount of applications as you go along so what we've done <coughs> we ordered a ton of plates in a specific way that we can just continuously produce huge amount of guns and we can do this way we use nickel and something else as well This is the fastest, fastest way to do. If you are uh, going for uh, producing medical units, then you need the copper and the zinc, yes. Steel iron is very difficult to produce. It still is very difficult to produce gas from. It uses a different current flow. For a soft materials like copper and zinc, one, two watts is very easy. This is how you produce. You can literally, what we do, you run a cascade of units. You've seen it with Renan yes, last week, how he set up a CO2 factory for the plates or whatever. With a CO2 kit, you're at the mercy of God. How much carbon is there? You connect your air conditioning of your workers because they are the best CO2 supply. They breathe in and out into your CO2 gas tank. If you give a mask to your workers that whatever they breathe out, you collect, you can produce a lot of CO2s. Don't forget, you don't need a CO2, you need the carbon side of it. There is a possibility, maybe in the long run, we buy CO2 gas and just feed it in the environment where the units are but that's a molecular CO2 is not so easy to create the condition you want. 
You put a copper nano coated, you connect your brass to the negative. If the quantity of metal that we use to produce guns is relevant, how much uh, copper nano coated? No. Uh, no? Okay.